If you're feeling lonely over this Christmas and New Year holiday period, then that's perfectly okay. The Christmas and New Year holiday can be difficult for some people, especially if you're living alone. And I'm speaking from experience here because I live alone. I've never got married. I haven't got kids. So it's just me here in the house. And on top of that, I moved miles away from my friends and family to be closer to work, which is something that I'll talk about in another video. Not necessarily the best decision I ever made in life, but that's not relevant here. But the reason I'm telling you that is to let you know that I understand what it feels like when you're by yourself over this period. And yeah, it it's difficult. You'd expect that things like social media might help you, but when you go on social media and you see pictures of other people spending their Christmas day, Boxing Day with friends and with family, it's... It sometimes can be hard to deal with. It can, you know, I'd say it can it can add to this weight. It can add to this feeling of loneliness. But you know, that's that's okay. Don't beat yourself up about it. There's nothing. There's nothing wrong with feeling lonely during this period. It feels bad at the moment, but just keep in your mind that that it will pass. You know, you just just make it through this week. Make it through New Year. Make it into January then you've got a new year ahead of you again. You can go back to work. You can socialize with people again. It's only one week to get through, so don't beat yourself up about it. Just, you know, don't don't add to the feeling of pressure by, you know, by telling yourself that you should be doing something or you should be going out doing this, you should be going out doing that, you should be meeting with people, you should be doing this. You know, don't, don't shoot yourself into a bad situation. You know, just, uh, just accept that feeling a little bit lonely is understandable. You know, there, there's a lot of people in the same boat as you. There are a lot of people who go through this every year. But like I say, it's just one, it's just one week to get through. Just make it through this week. You know, find ways to cope with it. I get these feelings of being lonely, especially you know, on Christmas Day. Christmas Day, there's nobody in the house here with me. Friends and family are all miles away. It wasn't feasible for me to go and visit anybody so I had to accept the fact that I'm going to spend you know, Christmas day in this house by myself so I just had to find ways to get through it. I mean for, for me personally something that worked was uh, watching movie reaction channels on YouTube. That may seem strange to some people but for me it worked. It was like I was watching a movie but I was watching it with somebody and okay it's somebody that I don't you know, know personally I can't talk back to them in real time, but it just made it feel like I was sharing that experience with somebody. And that, you know, and that, that helped me. That made me feel less alone than if I was just sat here watching a movie by myself. You know, having somebody else talking, having somebody else commenting on the things that were happening in the film, it made me feel a little bit better. So, you know, that's what works for me personally. And you know, I've put a video up in other places saying what my favourite reaction channels are, but you know, I I can't stress enough how much that sort of helps me feel a little bit more connected to people. But you know, for for everybody, it's different. You might personally prefer watching a live stream. You might like being able to chat live with people and have that back and forth conversation. You know, that's fine if that works for you. You know, for other people. They might not want that. That can sometimes add to the feeling of loneliness if everyone else is talking about what they've done with their Christmas day and you know everything they've been up to. Sometimes that can make you feel a little bit more lonely, so you just want to avoid that kind of thing. And again, that's perfectly fine. Just do whatever you need to do to make it through. There's no right or wrong answers here. It's just making it through this week the best you can and then... You know, this time next week, it's all over and it's back to January again for, you know, people don't like the January time sometimes. But, you know, for, for people who are alone over Christmas, they may look forward to that going back to work. You know, work is part of their social life. So, again, don't don't poo-poo it. Like I say, it's just this one week. Just make it through. 
don't beat yourself up about feeling lonely. It's a perfectly natural feeling for us as somewhat social creatures to want to have that human connection. But, you know, there's nothing wrong. If you're alone by choice, that's fine. If it's a situation that you can't help, well, it's going to pass. So, yeah, don't beat yourself up about it. Don't make your situation worse by, you know, shooting yourself into a into a bad place and telling yourself that there's something wrong because everyone else is happy and you're not. It's perfectly fine. Everyone's different. A lot of people feel lonely. A lot of people are like are like you. So don't feel bad about it. Just get yourself through it. Get yourself through this week. This time next week, the holiday's over. People will put it behind them and we're on with the new year. So just stay strong. Make it through. You know, we're all in this together. I'm the same as you. So take care of yourself and I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now.